Ooh. Oh, we're live. Okay. Wait. How does this work? Oh, I know how this works. Okay. Um, nice. Noise, noise. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Okay. Um, how is everyone doing? How are you guys? What's been going on? Um, hope you're well. I'm about to go live with uh, this great human being named Shaquan McDowell. He is an activist and a writer and um, just so talented and smart. Um, and we actually have not met in person yet. He's just been such a beacon of light for me and a, and a follower and um, my Instagram friend. So I'm excited to meet him over FaceTime. Okay, here he is introducing... Okay, this is going to be great. Hello, hello. Ah! Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, my goodness. So good to see you, friend. <laughs> I know. How are you? Same. I'm great. How are you? You doing okay? Yes, most definitely. I'm in Atlanta. I came uh, back from Massachusetts to be with my family during the quarantine. So great. everything is cool. Everything is cool. How about great. you? Your girl is good. Everybody's got supplies and health. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yeah. I, she's in Rhode Island with her family. Um, okay. so that sucks. I you know, know you miss but her. Yeah. Most definitely. But hey, yeah. uh, you know, it's all good. It's cool. How about <laughs> yourself? How are y'all? How is everything? We're good, boo. I'm just chilling in LA at the crib, you know, with my family and um yeah. Is it all good. of y'all? Is it is it is it all of y'all? Your mom, your dad, everybody? Yeah, it's everybody, the whole gang. Like we're never home. Um, so this is really special and we have our animals and yeah, so we're we're good. Thank you. That's what's up. That's cool. That's cool. So yeah, man. How what have you been doing? You know, like how's how's quarantine been for you? Or 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 <laughs> someone once told me it's not social distancing, it's physical distancing. Um right. like how how's that going for you? What you been doing? Um, it's going cool. I mean, I, I'm I'm just making peace with this new normal. I'm fine being at home. I'm like a homebody anyway, because um, I'm always out and about for my job and around people constantly for work and all that. So I'm I'm okay. I've been like, I've been cross stitching. I've been like watching movies, doing some auditions here and there, um, connecting with my friends. I just zoomed with my family who are like insane. Oh Diego's. wow. So it's been good, you know, I'm just trying, I'm staying creative, but also like resting and like pretty much going through a big recharge. But how about you? What's what's up? Uh, the same thing. Uh, I've been like really working on this one project that I really want to do. Uh, and I've been talking to like my girlfriend with it uh, about it yeah. for like a while now. Uh, so 10 years ago or like 15 years ago, I started this really big research project on my family. Uh, and it's something that's evolved throughout the years to like, TED Talks to articles to like a his the reason I majored in history. Um, and now I'm just working with like a couple of friends of mine and my girl to turn into like this uh, screenplay of some sorts. So uh, I'm Bye. working on that. I'll see like what it comes, what comes of it. Uh, I got to fortunately participate in the the 1619 project last year uh, with the New nice. York Times. Nice. So, <laughs> High faith, uh, my girlfriend. Yeah. High faith and Marissa. <laughs> um, oh, that's super so, cool. Yeah, that's like, I've just been working on that because I have the time to do it now, you know? Uh, you wouldn't have had the time to do this before. So I've just been yeah. putting my energy in places, you know? That's a beautiful thing, you know? I think it's like so important to be comfortable with the uncomfortable right now and to like just be present and to heal and like understand that life, even when you do have a lot alone time and downtime, right? And you're mm -hmm. like, okay, I choose to be home. It's still the constant thought of what I have to do tomorrow and my job and work and emails and like checking this and you know, whether it's you're with your partner or your friends, like you're all, it's constant, like your brain's constantly on. So yeah. to be able to have an off button and like not have anything to look forward to right now, but just being like myself, like indulging in self care. I actually had a friend of mine today um, he's so sweet. He brought me, um, he brought me chicken pot pie and apple pie <laughs> because I yeah. like wanted it. He delivered it to me. I was like, this is so sweet. And my first time 
leaving my house was li literally in like 34 days was yesterday. And I delivered um, some soup. My mama made chicken soup and I, I gave it to my boss. Oh, and yes. Like, I hadn't driven my car. I was like, wow, this is a trip. It's something, man. It's it's really something. It's crazy you mentioned chicken soup because every time I talk to people about my favorite food that my mom has made when I was a kid, it's like her chicken noodle soup. So like I, I just I felt that moment, like really, like truly. <laughs> I wish we could ship you some. Maybe we can. Maybe we'll figure that out when this yeah. is all done and we can go to the post office. We're gonna ship you some mama's chicken soup because <laughs> she literally makes it like there's no. Um, she doesn't use. She makes the broth with the chicken. Like, yeah. there's no oil, it's nothing. It's just, like, fresh celery and, like, carrots and just love up in there. It's like, that's mom's been cooking. That's the, that's the golden side. Oh, 100%. 100%. Uh, you know, it's nothing better than that because it's just the truth. When I'm in Massachusetts, because it's me in my house most of the time, like, I just will order out so many times throughout the day and, like, throughout the week. Uh, and, you know, like, the, the, the benefits of, the things that, you know, like just being able to be home is that you aren't putting money sometimes in places that, you know, you shouldn't. You're able to save a little bit more. You're able to spend time with people that you want to spend time with. Uh, and you're just really able to, like, nourish yourself uh, a little bit in ways that you can't when you're just constantly going and moving all the time. Absolutely. Because, like, I mean, we've been eating so clean and we're, like, super grateful for that. You know, we're, we're eating fresh vegetables and, like, we know what we're cooking. We know what we're putting in our bodies. Um, and, like, having the choice to like be creative and you know i yeah. don't know it just it put things it puts things into perspective for sure it's 100%. such a weird time for everyone and to know that like we're all going through the same thing yeah. is like the most comforting because 100%. you can go into a hole and you know watch the news <laughs> and, like, pretty much become like a hermit crab you know it's easy it's like it's easy i feel bad for like the really paranoid people out there right now right. who are suffering you know and they're like i mean it's it's not encouraging at all we don't have you know a leader um we don't have someone comforting us like we don't have that so you're truly like on your own in that way so yeah this is a great time to like be in tune with yourself and your friends like how would you say you know when you're feeling let's say you have a, a bad day because we all have our good and bad days how do what do you do um to kind of lift yourself up and change your thought and put things into perspective yeah uh so one thing that i did personally is like i've been trying to take this time to like really connect with music and just like let music like give me certain things that i may not get by being in the house all the time so like yeah. i have like different playlists for like just to uplift me like every time I wake up. Like I have one playlist that I just made called uh, Remembering God's Love. So like every oh, time I wake up in the morning or I'm walking on a walk, I just, you know, listen to the playlist and I just like remember that, you know, throughout everything that's happening right now um, and like not being able to be with each other, you know, like first like God's love is like still very profound and it's like still here and like it's still around all of us. Um, but we can also contribute and be a part of that larger body of love and like put that in the world. And like that's the type of, uh, vibe that I get when I'm listening to that music. So uh, that helps me cope. Um, and on top of that, I write. Like, I just love to write. Uh, one of my favorite things or my comparative elements to use is, like, space and, like, the the world and, like, things like that. Uh, and one thing that's really cool that I haven't noticed uh, before is that now if you go outside uh, in ways you haven't been able to do before, if you look up, like, you actually see all the stars. A couple of weeks ago, Venus was, like, really clear uh, wow. in the stars. And it's, like, it's really cool just to be able to uh, connect with that and like use that to channel my writing and just write about it. So uh, those are a couple of things that I do. Uh, my family is just like really also close and like just being able to like chill and dance with them. Uh, yesterday, my mom like cooked on the grill. Uh, and then yeah. after that, like we were dancing to old music, you know, like the music you have the cookout um, and like just really like having a good time with each other. And so like all of that together just uh, has helped me cope and get through this very difficult time. Uh, how about you? You know, like you have like some cool things you do. You like have stitched pizza and stuff. <laughs> Look, I'm working on it right now. I got an astronaut over here, guys. Oh, word. Oh, space. <laughs> yes, in space. Um, I, I'd say, yeah, journaling is very important to me. I've always been someone who likes to write down their thoughts. Um, I know some people hate it or like hate their handwriting or they're just like, but even if you're whatever it may be, typing, writing, like getting it out. I love that you said that. It's very therapeutic and special in a way and I think it's cool just to be documenting this time and then documenting mm -hmm. 
how you're feeling. Um, but honestly, like, if I truly, if I have a, you know, something I'm going <laughs> through, it. or it's just a weird day or whatever, like things can kind of get you down. I, I do something that um, I love for myself, whether that's going to get my favorite snack from the kitchen, or like, putting on lipstick or, you know, taking a nice shower, like things that are kind of, they redirect your focus and there's something that you cherish. Um, mm -hmm. There's just something so beautiful in that and, and beautiful in the mundane, like appreciating um, the little things. Yeah. And in a time like this, I feel like, you know, we're, we're very fortunate and, and things could be a lot worse um, and they are for most people. So, putting that into perspective too and just kind of like you literally have to just redirect your thought it takes practice it's so much easier said than done but i find yeah you're right the writing the journaling that helps a lot and good music right good music wine <laughs> it's a good time <laughs> do you have a favorite kind of wine do you have a favorite type oh rosé rosé 100 rosé and i like a i like a heavy body i like like cabernets Red wine. Oh yeah. yeah. What about you? Uh, I am a I'm a real like heavy Moscato drinker. That's that's probably Ooh. my 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 focus. Uh, I like a red Moscato. I like it to be a little heavier and teetering on that that red, you know, like uh, taste, but it still has like those sweeter yeah. elements to it. Like Somebody that's just how I. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I tried um I tried the Crystal Head vodka yesterday. Um, my dad got a bottle, and I swear it was a party. Saturday night <laughs> was a party. I got dressed up for myself, put on my gold hoops, my lipstick, my tube top, and I was like <laughs> in my kitchen shaking my butt in front of my dog, drinking my Christmas vodka <laughs> because, like, I don't really get to do that. I'm always working. Like, you know, if I do go out or if I'm with friends, I'm, it's very, it's just all in moderation anyway, which is good. But so it's nice, like to kind of cut loose and not be like, oh, okay, I got to do this tomorrow or whatever. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, wine is great. Wine no, is I feel great. that. I feel that. Uh, this is like really good tequila called Herodera. Like, I don't know if you ever had it before, but like, it's like really, really great. No. Like, oh man. Like, it's, it's really, really Herodera. Herodera. H-E-R-R-A-D-U-R-A. <laughs> okay. I'm going to look into it. I'm going to look it's, into it. And it's like really smooth. Cause like, I know like some people like, like tequila but like it's like yeah tequila right. is you know it's a taste is... mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's been cool literally this past weekend it was my first time getting drunk in this entire quarantine like i was chilling i mean that's good but it was it was so fun and the best yeah. part is like i'm safe at home 100%. like i know where i'm gonna be i know i'm gonna be safe i'm with my family like it's a cool feeling it's cool and thankfully, my parents are fun, so we get along, and they're way yeah. cooler than me. Um, but somebody actually said, Shaquan, that they want you to send the um, the playlist. They want they want to know how they can find your playlist. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I everything that I have is just my name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like, <laughs> if you is go on, on Spotify, like Spotify? <laughs> it's on Spotify. Yeah. Um, okay. And it's called it's 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 yeah it's uh, public. It's finding God's love. Or not finding God's love, remembering God's love, uh, and it just—it's a really, it's a really, really good one. Uh, I I sent it to a couple of my friends on Easter, because uh, I like really love holidays. You know, like my mom like really loves holidays. I really yeah. like holidays, and like I really like get into like the vibe and spirit of it. Um, and like I sent it to all of my, all of my friends, like some friends on that morning, and they were just like, "Oh yeah, you know." So it's a it's a really cool playlist if you want. Some I'll good vibes. Check it out, check it yeah. out, guys. Remembering God's love. That's wonderful. Yes, ma'am. Do you have, you have um, I bet you have some Stevie Wonder on there, huh? Oh, 100%. You got ads on there? Many, 100%. Yes! Yes! 100%. Like, you got it. Yes, ma'am. What about you? You got, what's your favorite thing to listen to? What has been your favorite artist to listen to throughout this entire, like, situation? Oh, my goodness. Um... That's a tough one because some days I'm more into like alternative indie. So I'll listen to kind of, I don't know if you heard like the drums or obscure like indie rock artists. Um, and then I'll shift to like a nice ambiance. There's a great, there's a great band and I think they're called Kerrang Bin. 
It's mm -hmm. spelled really weird, but they just do, I mean, it's no vocals. Um, actually, Leon Bridges did a song with them. Um, but they just got this groove, like a vibe, and it's just be it's beautiful. It sends you to a cool place. I'll, 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 um, I'll text you the name of them. Um, yeah. But I just, I kind of go with the flow. Like, if I'm feeling ratchet, I'm feeling a little... <laughs> feeling myself, you know, I'll put on some booty music, some booty popping music. Oh my goodness. You know, you just gotta, or I, I mean, I mostly lean towards like the chill stuff. Oh, goodness gracious. My goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, goodness Sorry. Gracious. My, my niece is like in the house, like, and she's like running around right now. And like, I'm just like watching her. So. <laughs> <laughs> is she hilarious right now? She oh, is. She's three. Man. She's three? Yes. Wow. She's three years old. Uh, my oldest niece is 13. So, like, it's, oh, my goodness. But, like, she's, like, a little baby. She's <laughs> full of energy, though. She is full of energy. Wow. Um, so, yeah. Oh it's really been dope, though. Yeah. I do sometimes, though. I don't know. Like, I have, like, kind of missed, like, I used to, like, dance all the time in, like, my house. Like, I have, like, a lot of, like, space. Uh, yeah. I do miss doing that, but I can't like dance around all the time <laughs> in here because I can't wake everybody up. So, right. Yeah. Wait, I want to meet your three-year-old niece. Oh, really, Mackenzie? Yeah. Tootie. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Aww. Come here. <laughs> Is she shy right now? Yeah. Come here. Marianne, that's a great idea. We'll put together a Sydney Park playlist. That's dope. Okay. That's Tootie, nice. come here. Come on. <laughs> Look. Yeah, you want to you wanna see? Come on. Come on. <laughs> I thought you were Super McKenzie. Come here. That's your mission. Come here. Come on. Oh, girl. <laughs> no? You're not coming? She's not having it, huh? Uh, <gasps> oh. You don't want to say so hi? Beautiful. Oh. My goodness gracious. She is shy, but so cute. Oh, she is never shy. She's acting Look at that her. way right now. That's she hilarious. Don't... Oh, no. She told me today, I was like, you can't, you can't sit on the couch like that. And she was like, it's my couch. It's my couch. Stop. She was, but she's like sweet. Wow. She's really sweet. You're a she's queen. Really sweet, Look but at she's her. gone. Wow. Okay, Mackenzie. <laughs> so, yeah. No, <Nope>, when <laughs> she just came and waved her finger at me and told you, I told you no. <laughs> Do you and she's still doing it. For right now. Oh, my goodness. I just actually told my girlfriend to read my favorite book ever. Uh, <laughs> it's called uh, <sighs> Jesus Christ. Um, it's by John Green. And it's oh, uh, the Catherine, an abundance of Catherines. Oh, looking for Alaska is my second favorite by her. An abundance but of Catherines, yes. It is I one of her his less known books, but uh, it's my favorite book ever. Um, I've, I've read this. it. It's great. Yeah. Yes, oh, I have. Man. I love John Green. I've read most of his books. I read. What most is your? What would be your favorite? I would say Looking for Alaska was my favorite. Okay. Yeah, I think it was my favorite. Um, I've actually, that's so crazy. That's so crazy you mentioned. I was thinking about John Green the other day, and kind of, he kind of fell off. I was like wondering where he went because um, he's such a good writer. But a bunch yeah. of Catherine's was hilarious. He was addic that's hilarious. Addicted to having girlfriends named he was Catherine. Named Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> like why? So, but some people are like that though. Really? Yes. I've like no way. Who are like I can only date people named Jennifer. <laughs> like No, what? you're joking. I cannot believe that. It's crazy. I, I mean, cannot believe that. It's kind of like I forget there's like a syndrome. There's a proper name for it. It's weird. It's like a it's very rare, but some people like that. I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah. That's that's, in, that's wow. I never I mean, I was like I always I read that book in a night when like I got it when I was in 10th grade. I read it in a night. I got it from Target that night with my mom. Are you kidding? Like, and in, in I the kid night. you not. In How the middle of the night. Uh, maybe to the next morning. Like, I did not go to sleep that entire night. You know, so, what it's one of my love favorites. What did you so much about it? Uh, I just think I've uh, uh, always been a hopeless romantic, you know? Or, you know, not hopeless anymore, but just romantic. Hopeful. Uh, so. We hear hopeful. Hopeful. Romantic. There we there go. We go. There, we go. there we go. But what about you? Tell me, what's your favorite book? Out of oh all of goodness. them, what would it be? Out of all of them, oh, 
I love Flowers for Algernon. I read that in um, in middle school. But I mean, I love. I actually am a big fan of Greek mythology and like epic poems. So the yeah. Odyssey was such a beautiful read for me. Oh, uh, most definitely. Right. Odysseus, man. Odysseus. The king. Hundred percent. I love the love the Odyssey. Ah. I thought it was like truly an incredible piece of work like amazing um but i am reading i mean i've read some great books by like roxanne gay she's yeah. an incredible um essayist and author and she's black and dope and she has a book called difficult women um yeah. it's it, it can be a heavier read ish but it's basically narratives from all these different stories of women in the world and um from different like ethnic backgrounds and social classes and it's really deep um and then for a lighter read i'm reading the sequel to crazy rich asians so i read crazy rich asians and now i'm on china rich girlfriend oh and man i didn't know there was a sequel it's amazing. He has three books. There are three books. Okay. Um, but like truly, when I read Crazy Rich Asians um, before the movie came out, I was like, how are they going to pull this off? Like, how are they going to pull this off? It's so extravagant. And they did it great. They did it perfectly. I thought um, it was just perfect. Like the cast <laughs> was great. I mean, it lived up to my expectations for sure. Oh, and Michelle Obama's Becoming, duh. 100%. So good, but she has the audiobook and she narrates. I did not know that. So have you been reading more or have you been using the audiobook more? I just did the audiobook for, because for Christmas I got like for Christmas a few years ago, I got a um uh an Amazon Kindle. And mm -hmm. I was kind of like morally opposed to it because I've always been a bookworm and I just love the feeling of paper and books. Um yeah. even though they're bad for the environment. It's still good for our world. I'm like, yeah, but this is a way that we're using trees in a beautiful way to me um, to create books. But like, it, it works. I mean, it's it's awesome. And I absolutely love it. Um, it's waterproof and great. So I mean, I downloaded the audiobook and I hadn't really gotten into audiobooks before. Yeah. Um, but it just is such a rich experience to hear her voice. Um, and it's so intimate. I love that. It's very cool. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. I, uh, I, I'm gonna, I have her book, like I got the Becoming book not too long ago, uh, but I haven't listened to the audio book. And like, I think I'm gonna, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Do yeah. it, it's dope. Any, any, if you had to think about like music, like not music, but movies and like shows you've been watching, are there anything in particular that you've like been enjoying since then? Like anything else that you've been looking at? Yeah, okay, so Killing Eve, um, with Sandra Oh and Jodie Comer just came back for its third season, actually last week. So new episode tonight. Um, you can find that like on demand, BBC America, but it's just such a cool, it's Phoebe Waller-Bridge. She like adapted this story it was based on books um, and it's pretty badass. But uh, one, one show that you'd love is a show called Devs, D-E-V-S, and it's on Hulu. It's a limited yeah. series. Um, and it's by the same guy, Alex Garland, who did Ex Machina and Annihilation. So I just finished it the other day and I was just like in tears. It is oh, so man. special and cool. I feel like for you, especially, you would really um, enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, man, how, how, how many episodes are there? Is it long? Is it like a two seasons, short seasons? Because I've been watching a lot of things on Netflix and like they're limited series right now. And I've been wanting more right afterwards. I love to yeah. binge things. So like, is it, is a lot of them or is it, <laughs> is it gonna? It's just, it's just one season, it's eight episodes. It's eight episodes. Okay. So what I did was they had been releasing it week by week. But at that point that I'd gotten into it, I'd watched at least like five or six episodes. And then I was like, dang, I gotta wait every Thursday. So it, the last episode was this Thursday that just passed. Um, and it's really, it's off the chain. That and The Politician oh, I found was fun on Netflix. Um, I watched Signs, the M. Night Shyamalan movie for the first time. Have you seen yeah. that film? I have not seen, oh no, the one about the, the crop circles? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh my goodness gracious, <laughs> you just watched it for the first time? For the first time. Okay, what were your thoughts? Tell me. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I thought, I thought Mel Gibson's performance was incredible. It was so like Steven Spielberg-ish to me and M. Night was just like perfect. It was perfect. I could watch that movie over and over again. Like between yeah. between that and The Village um, and obviously Sixth Sense, it's like yeah. old. What'd you think? Have you, when's the last time you saw it? 
I haven't seen it in some years, to be honest with you. I had like the DVD like a while ago. And so I, I haven't actually watched it in a while. But like I used to watch it all the time, like crop circles and things like that fascinated me. I went through like a whole phase where uh, Ancient Aliens was on my TV every single day. Like my mom probably got like, <laughs> super annoyed by it, but um, uh, I love my Ancient dad's Aliens. show, boy. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. <laughs> absolutely you know like absolutely it, oh man like i remember when the first episode of ancient aliens came out and it was like a series like it was a special before they made it a series and i was hooked like all two hours you know i could listen to them going to like they're like that voice that comes on before they go to a different place like they'll be like ancient egypt <laughs> And right. then they go through like all the ancient history and like they look at the comparisons between technology then or like the pictures and depictions and technology now. And like, it's just like super cool. I was hooked. So um, I haven't seen it like probably since that phase, but uh, now I got to go watch it again. Like you just bringing it up, like made me think about it again. Can you go watch it please? Because between that and like Close Encounters, um, oh, another one you love is Contact. Oh my goodness. I haven't, what is Contact? You got to remind me. Do you know that it's it's with Jodie Foster and Matthew, Matthew McConaughey, and she plays an astronaut. Oh and yes, you know what I'm talking about. I do know what you're talking about. Shaquan, that's one of her baddest performances. Like for real, her just truly. It's because it's that it's that line of science and God, right? Yeah. So what she you know her coming from this, and it's not even, not even spoiling anything, but like the premise is, you know, her father dies when she's really young, but it, he's the one that encouraged her to be an astronaut. And she has this experience as she, you know, goes through um, this launch with her team into yeah. space, essentially, they're trying to do and it's off the chain, like what she sees. Crazy. <laughs> crazy. Like, oh my gosh really man. dope really it's dope. space it's space i tell you man it's Look. space it's, yes ma'am exactly 100 <laughs> percent right. involved involved 100 did you say you were going to take shots is that what you oh yes ma'am yes ma'am so uh, you just talked all about <laughs> like what you just bought yesterday the other day like and now i want to challenge you to take a shot of what you've been talking about Okay, well, guess what? The, what I just bought uh, is gone. Can oh, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> that bottle is gone, but I have something else. <laughs> Okie dokie. So we'll make it work. Okie dokie. What you Let's got? see what we got. I actually have the hair there that I was telling you about. So, oh, you know. What? Okay, I'm going to do the it too then. Uh, Mackenzie just came and asked me to get off the phone. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She is everything. Okay. 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 All right. All right. No, okay, no, no. All right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, me and Shaquan are taking a shot. <laughs> okay. What do I have? Hold on. Ooh. Have you tried this? Have you tried Milagro? Oh, no. You're frozen. Okay. Oh no, Shaquan, what happened? Okay, wait, I'm going to he's going to re-request. All right, guys, we got it. We got our little shot glass. I got some tequila. I don't know what. I don't know what's gotten into me, y'all. Okay. Hold on. Let's get Shaquan back. Let's see. Oh, no. That's the wrong thing. Oh, what did I do? Wait. How do you flip it? Okay. Okay, wait. Via requests. Guys, I literally feel like I'm 85 years old. I don't know how to do these lives. Um, <laughs> are you guys going to take a shot with us? Okay, Taylor. Okay, take a shot. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, hi, Dahlia. How are you? Okay, Milagro is smooth. It's smooth. Dahlia. What? Okay, let's see. 
Where did Jaquan go? Uh, what happened? I'm going to guess his phone died, y'all. I'm going to guess his phone died. But in the meantime, we're going to make this work. And I'm going to talk to myself on here. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we need. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm grabbing the Bohemian rum. What? Who's grabbing rum? Oh, shoot. We are out here, y'all. Happy Sunday. Okay, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for lovely Shaquan to come back. Let's see what happened. <laughs> Thank you, Emily. Thank you, my love. <laughs> Oh, happy Sunday, beautiful one. Okay. Oh, Interstellar. Yes, I was just talking about Interstellar today with my friend. Um, uh, I love that film. I think it was so beautiful and special. I want to see The Walking Dead again. Ooh. Y'all gonna have to see. Okay, Shaquan, where art thou? What happened? Huh. Oh, you guys are so sweet. You guys are literally so sweet. Yeah, I think his phone died too. I think his phone died for sure. Um, but I hope everybody's been safe and, um, you know, Stay home, guys. Seriously. It really makes all the difference when we unite and save lives. And um, this is a time now more than ever to be strict about um, your distance. And it doesn't take away the emotional distance from the people you love. But, um, you know, stay inside and please do your part uh, so we can get through this. Okay. Shaquan. Shaquan. We're going to get him back. We're going to get him back. Okay, here we go. Oh, love from Hawaii. Yeah. Hey, Aloha. guys. So sorry. Like, What's I don't, up? No, it's all good. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. It happens. These are, tech, you know, technology. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Unreliable. Okay, okay darling. Cheers. Salud. <laughs> oh, God. I can't. So, Mackenzie. <laughs> wow. See? How you doing? You good? <laughs> oh, man. I'm oh, warm. Very much so. I'm warm now. Very much so. Oh. Wow. It went, though. See, you good? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Dang. No, yeah. Yeah. What, what, what was you on that show class? What was that? Oh, this is the hair dad. But I mean, like, on the, what's the design? I like it. It's Brazil. It's Brazil. <gasps> what? Brazil. Yeah, it's like Rio. Like, yes. Oh, that's yes, ma'am. Did you get that there? No, I have not gone. I want to go to Colombia. That okay. is my goal. Nice. Uh, my girl's family is from Colombia, and oh, we want to go to Colombia so bad. So, like, that's where we want to go. Oh, yes, ma'am. Have you been to Brazil? I know you've been to Hawaii. I know, y'all. I know, Miss Moana. I know. <laughs> Listen, I have not been anywhere outside of the U.S. aside from Canada. <laughs> That really? is why I'm so pissed because like this was my year to plan a trip. Like I was gonna plan a trip last year um, to spend time in Europe, uh, like South of France and Paris and, and like, Italy. But thankfully, I booked I booked a project to leave and you know shoot. And then of course this happened. So I was like, dang, summer was going. It's gonna be it was gonna be a hot girl year, you know. <laughs> but it still is. It's gonna be a hot girl year from home. Shoot, yes, no, I, mean, I don't have to. I can't be fly still, you know. But Hundred percent. Yeah, no, you Jesus man. It's 
yo, I I love traveling though. It's one of my favorite things to do. So yeah, where's the where's your best place? Like, what place have you loved the most? The Middle East. I like went yeah. to Israel a couple of years ago. Gorgeous, like the Mediterranean Sea. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah, like, literally beautiful. Like that. I can only imagine. Oh my gosh. You you gotta go. Like if you go to like to Tel Aviv, it's like one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. I've heard so many yeah incredible things about Israel. Oh my god, it's beautiful. It is. Wow, beautiful. wow. Oh. Where do you want to go next? Um, you said Colombia. Uh, Egypt. I okay. think it fits everything that I love: history, yes. beauty. Uh, love Africa. <laughs> yes. Uh, Amen. And uh, it's the birth. It really, Egypt is the birthplace of so much of the things many things that like we think about today. Uh, we think about, when we think about like the Greeks or we think about, um, you know, the, the epic poems and things like that. Literature yeah. that matters so much to us today. Uh, so much of what Greece incorporated was borrowed from Egypt. And like, I think that that's super duper beautiful. And like, I would love to just go and visit the Sphinx or, you know, the pyramids mm. and, and things like that. So uh, that's, that's what attracts me to Egypt. So I really want to go there. Um, and hopefully I will get there in the next couple of years. That's my goal. For sure. And you will definitely be there, man. I, I might meet you there because I'm obsessed with Egyptology. And I just yeah. thought it was so, I just loved learning about ancient civilizations as a kid, period. So, 100%, 100%. right? I mean, it's the pyramids. Like, exactly. I've got to see that. That That's so powerful. It's too, it's 5,000 years later, we are still looking at these these monuments. That should yep. speak something to like how we feel. But so yeah. Yeah. So beans, what about you? Where are you going next? I know like you were talking about Italy, you know, I know that things didn't work out that way. Where do you want to <laughs> yeah. go next? Um, I would love to be in I would okay, so I, there's a there's a great um organization and they pretty much like put on these trips all over the world like surf trips or like surf camps and i think it's called dream sea surf so they have setups in um nicaragua um brazil no not brazil bali um the maldives and like the french coast kind of like south of france um and i think i would want to do that i think i'm ready to like go solo and you know, meet some cool people and like surf and do that in the south of France. Um, but I mean, period, like I have to go to Africa. I have to go to Africa. Any place in specific, any country specifically you want to go to in Africa? Ghana. Yeah? Yeah. I'd love oh, to go to Ghana. You go, yeah. yeah, I hope like <laughs> you gonna have you gonna you gonna have like some Nigerians and Ghanaians fighting in a little bit. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> like watch i'm just waiting for a flag to pop up in these there's uh, <laughs> so somebody go ghana <laughs> oh man you know what that's why yeah i gotta go with a good group a couple guys to keep me safe <laughs> like, <laughs> man. man that's hilarious that's hilarious yeah that's the other thing about traveling um and it's so great that you have a partner you can do that with yeah. um and you know you gotta have like smart friends you gotta have smart people traveling with you because you know traveling internationally can be it's a it's an event yeah so you gotta be smart <laughs> that's 100 percent. well everybody seems like they keep, they shutting down <laughs> okay. here. i won't um, you. so i'm gonna let you go uh, it was lovely talking to you i love like getting a chance to just like see your face for the first time you know, I know. Been talking for a while. likewise i adore you friend i can't wait to meet you and hug you and yes. you know after we make it through this so stay safe yes. and um it's been a pleasure thank you, you too. have a good one you too my love bye bye guys thank you for watching thank you guys <laughs> bye <laughs>